In Baghdad, at least 15 people have been killed and 30 wounded in two bombings in and around the Iraqi capital. The first struck as people headed to work near Aidan Square, while a later bomb went off in a northern suburb. This morning at 7.30 a.m., a suicide bomber, a young boy, set off an explosive-laden vest here in this busy square, crowded with rush hour commuters and pupils. They are the latest in a string of deadly attacks to hit Baghdad in the past two weeks. It comes after the government lifted a nighttime curfew on Saturday in the hope of normalizing life in the war-torn capital. The move was greeted with optimism by some. The captain of a motorcycle team hopes that Baghdad can retain its former prosperity and that young Iraqis will start playing the sports they used to play at night. The Interior Ministry said it does not believe the latest attacks were linked to the lifting of the long-standing curfew.